Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul doing the Permadeath playthrough run. Uh, yeah, we're picking up right where we left off after the last video here. And we're going to continue on with the autophage because we're building our staff. We're building our staff, the holy weapon of the autophage. So we're looking forward to getting that done. So let's go ahead and jump in here. It says here, uh, audience with the autophage, and I didn't read it all. Okay. It's just giving me more baloney. Let's go to our log and check it out. So warp to meet more autophage. Meet more autophage in another system. Well, this is great. I really want to go to another system because I want to find another ship. So let's go have some fun in another system, shall we? All right. Uh, and it looks like our anti-gravity well is done. We need to either use pugnium or two radiant shards. Let's use two radiant shards. Anything else need charging? Right, luminous engine's down to 37%. No, we'll keep that the way it is right now. We want to get it down into the 20s before we use it. All right. So we're going to warp out of here and go to a new system. We never did find all the animals on that planet, unfortunately. Um, we only had two more ground and one underground, so we'll have to think about that. But I'm not going to come back here. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, this is a two-star system, first of all, as far as that. Let's hit the R button. Uh, I want to try to find a better system if I can, but we'll see. So it's sending me... Let me see. Galactic Core, Free Explorer, Galactic Core, Free Explorer. Let's just go Free Explorer. I'm not worried about Galactic Core this time around. We need to find that one that is dissonant. So you see it says 54 light years, G9, which is a good system. The higher the G numbers, it means a better system. And water. We're looking for one that says dissonance, not water. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to look around, and I'm going to go quickly through these systems and see if I can see the word dissonance pop up while I'm... Popping through here. Water, 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 water. Dissonance. Whoop. Dissonance. Two star Viking. I want to try to fight a three star dissonance if I can. Corvax would be better if we can. Two star. Hmm. That's almost worth going to, but I'm going to keep looking. I really want to find something like this, a three star. But you notice that it's got nothing after the G2P, so it's going to be an odd system. A lot of anomalies and stuff like that. Dissonant, one star, Gek. Uh, let's see. Water, three star Corvax, go figure. It's very hard to find a three star Corvax system that is uh, dissonant. It's an odd combination. There's another three star Corvax, one star Corvax, dissonant. Uh, let's see. Water, take a look over here. Water, water. Weird boundary one. Dissonant. Three-star Viking. Let's go ahead and try this one because we don't need the Corvax system anymore, and I'm really interested to see what they have here. Viking are known for their, you know, tenacity and stuff like that. Looks like I've got several planets there, too. So that'll be good. Plus, it looks like there was at least one moon that I saw. I like moons. They're tiny and worthwhile to search across because of the fact that they have everything that a regular large-sized planet has all compacted onto a small one, so things are easier to find. There we go. So first thing I'm going to do here, I'm not even going to do anything. Well, you know what? I do need something at the space station if I can get it. So we're going to stop at the space station regardless, just so we have a contact point for the system. All right, and I'm just going to check out the vendors real quick because I need, as you know, toxic protection. I've got one spot available on my exosuit. I keep forgetting to go to the exosuit, uh, uh, what do they call them, uh, uh, research guys over here and get my upgrade for my suit. So let's do that. I've got ships popping in. That's why the whole screen's shaking. We don't really need as much room down here. I could really like to fill in this one spot down here real quick. But in my cargo inventory of my exosuit. But, you know, I need more technology space. I am so out of technology space right now. So we're going to go ahead and start putting more spots in over here. 125,000. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. What do you got for me, technology merchant? Uh, let's see. So we're looking for... We got thermal protection already. in B class movement, A class. S-Class Underwater, we have no Toxic Protection. That's B-Class at least, do we? We do. We do have a B-Class Toxic Protection Module. I'm going to grab that for now because even though it's... It, I mean, C-Class is terrible, but B-Class is halfway through. I need something. And if we get an S-Class one later on, that'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and install that up here. 
and that'll at least give me some protection on toxic planets. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, charge up all the other protection modules. Okay, the water protection's all the way down to nothing. I got plenty of oxygen for that. Let's use some dioxide for my life support. Let's just go through everything. Uh, Starship, how you look? Luminous engine. We want to go down about twenty, about ten more. It's at thirty-six percent. If we get into the twenties, we can use one radiant shard to charge it up. If it goes below twenty, it gets into the two portion there. Uh, Sentinel cannon is pretty good damage. Fifty-four hundred. What is this one? Infernife. So it says twenty-two thousand. I'm going to keep the infernife accelerator going then. And the luminance engine is not near anything that upgrades it. Why not? Pulse jump capability. I have no pulse drive upgrades. That's weird. Let's move you over here. Actually, I'm going to put you over here. I'm going to put the pilot interface someplace else. Okay, so the pulse, the luminance engine pulse drive, if you will, has upgrade slots. I'm surprised I don't have upgrades for that. That's weird. It's worth checking to see if we can get one. So let's check the vendor for that. Yep, 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 yep. He's a talker. All right, start at the top. We have an Infernife module, a B-class one. Oh, it's an S-class one. Let's grab that. Yeah, I'll take it. But do we have... We don't have any pulse drive, huh? At all. We got a C-class one. That's not really worth my time. Okay. Well, the Infernife accelerator, that's going to be worth putting in here. Uh, let's see. We will put you over here next to the pulse, the Infernife Accelerator. So that's giving me a, a more damage increase. So we're up to 28,000 damage now with that. So that'll be good. Okay, moving on. I'll have to go for pulse drive sometime. All right. Uh, don't need anything for my multi-tool, right? Let me see. Not really. We can use an upgrade for our mining laser. Why not? Maybe they have an S-Class Mining upgrade. That would be nice. And make it even more powerful than it is. And we'll check out the multi-tool there, but we got multi-tool. You know that. Another talker, huh? Uh, let's see. Oh, mining Beam Module, S-Class. Let's grab it. Um, pulse Spitter and Geology Cannon Modules. Boatcaster A-Class. Nah, not going to worry about it. Why? Because the laser is more powerful than that. Okay. Let's install our upgrade. There we go. And that should get even more power to that unit. What did it add to it, just out of curiosity? Efficiency, overheat downtime, mining speed, and heat dispersion. Nice. Yeah, that's actually great. That's a great add-on to it. All right. Fantastic. Okay. On our way. So let's head out and check out the planets in the system. I don't think their system has been ever found before. No? So we'll have to discover the planets on our own. What do we got here? We have an unknown planet right in front of us. Uh, dissonance detect detected an acidic planet, fungal mode. Glad we got the uh, thing that we got. The shield. Yeah, let's go to first person view. I can't quite lock in on a planet over there. I'm going to check them all out real quick. Flourishing. Okay, that means it's mostly peaceful. This one is... Desert. Uh, there's one over here. Tropical. Another one over here. Like I said, this is a pretty decent system. It's got a lot of planets at it. The dissonance one is right by the space station, so that's great. This is a hot planet, so that's actually good to know. And the big planet has two behind it. One with has a moon. And the one planet I can see is the flourishing one. Let's get around it real quick and just see if I can see the moon from here. Oh, wow. No, the moon is, like, tucked in just behind it. I don't know if I can lock in on that. It's tiny. No, we can't lock in on it. We'll have to check it later. So what I'm going to do here, let's get around this planet. I want to go to daylight side. And you know what? We might be able to lock into on the moon now. Let's see if we can find it. Wow, thing's tiny. That's it. Wrong button. 
got it. Hot moon, selenium, copper, phosphorus, silver. Okay, good. All right, man, that's a tiny, tiny little moon. All right, so we're going to hit this planet here. And I thought I was on the daylight side. Apparently, I'm not. I went to the nighttime side. All right, how's my pulse drive look, by the way? Wrong button. Pulse drive is at 31%. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. All right. And this planet also has water on it, too. How oh, odd. Not odd. Not really. It's an acidic planet. It's probably... It's not surprising it has odd. Okay, everything's building in. I can already see a settlement right there. I can see two of them. That probably have landing pads. This one is a ship finder. I think. That could be worth it. Let me see if I can get in, because if there's no sentinels around, that means we can get right in on this one. I don't see any sentinels. Good. There's one in the distance over that way, but he's pretty far away. He's 400 away. Uh, which side do I choose? Correct side. Yay. Alright, so let's see what we got here. This might be a transmission tower for finding a... An encryption locate the ship it calls out for. Let's go to the horror reset the crash site. Let's go ahead and grab it. Uh, here we go. We're going to math now. So it's 80, 71, 63, 56. So we're counting down in numbers. So 80 to 71 is 9. 71 to 63 is 8. 63 to 56 is 7. So 56 to whatever is going to be 6. And that's going to be 50. So. Distress signal coordinates discovered. And it's a freighter crash site as I thought. Okay. All right, so not really worth it. I mean, going to the freighter, you can get some good things from it, but it's just not worth my time. Where'd my ship go? I just went around the entire wrong side of the ship. And we are going to check this planet for a ship later on, just so you guys know. All right. Um, let's go ahead and hit the multi-tool real quick. Nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, we need to just locate the autophage camp. There we go. Okay, we're going to click on it. It'll find us the camp that we're looking for. There we go. Remote autophage signal found. Oh, there's two camps near me. That's great. This one is not far away at all. Yeah, if I walk towards it, it's going to take six minutes. So it's really, really close. All right. But before we go there, I want to check out the other two camps that were near here. Like this one right here. Is this what I think it is? It is not. Okay, that's just a cheap little camp. And there was another one over here. Whoop, hey, get off the plant. There we go. Okay, got stuck on a plant. There was one over here. Yeah, there it is. And what are you? You are transmission tower. Okay. All right. Just a transmission tower. All right, so let's head out. Let's head over to there. Now, we could use some inverted mirrors at some point, so that's something we've got to keep an eye open for. They're tough to get because you got to fight off the Sentinel hordes to get them, but it is what it is. So here's our remote autophage. I'm in for a landing. Now we have some... Wow, okay, they got a lot of those uh, radiant shards nearby. We've got two farms of them here. I'm going to go ahead and grab those real quick. Though the corrupted Sentinel might get mad. Uh, where'd it go? It's over here, I thought. Ah, here it is. So, Atlantidium. It was a, kind of a smaller one. It only had one radiant shard for me, but that's okay. And I'm going to check out the other one before we pull in the autophages. Ooh, check out those guys, huh? We only got five on this planet, so we can get some nanites from it. Radiant Shard, Atlantidium. Atlantidium, Living Fragments. Radiant Shard. Wow, this thing's just eating through it. Atlantidium. Atlantidium. It wasn't as many Radiant Shards as I thought. It was all Atlantidium for the most part. All right, that's fine. All right, we only got five creatures on this planet, and so far they all seem to be flying creatures for the most part. There's another guy over here.
There we go. So that's three already. Yeah, I'll take that. You always use. Ouch, something bit me. Who bit me? There's nothing there. That was weird. No, nothing bit me. I just kind of popped a little bit. Maybe something ran into me. That's probably what it was. Alright. Any other creatures anywhere nearby? I'm assuming they're either flying or underground. That's usually what you find on these planets. Let's find out. Oh, underwater. Okay, those will be easy to find. So I'm going to head towards water at some point, And we'll get that done. Alright, let's scan for these autophages. There we go. And there's my guy sitting in a chair. Construct with Gudro. There is a fierceness to this autophage. They stare so intensely that for a moment that I fear I, they might strike me. That's kind of bad English. They stare so intensely that for a moment I fear they might strike me. That sounds better. They appear to be evaluating something, some, perhaps scanning my suit. Suddenly they relax. Whatever they were assessing, they seem satisfied with the outcome. Something is the truth that did not blank the blank, blank, blank. I see blank myself. Okay, good. I think he's peeing his pants or something. I don't know. A disruptor or blank is in blank shell. Okay. Let's show the fiberglass grip and see what happens. This is something made. Probably well made. Destruction, disruptor, or rebuilt entity. Maybe he said it's crappily made. I see blank of blank values in the blank build own path. Do not simply conform to this blank. Okay. Um... Values. I'm not going to do conform. It says repeat values, repeat, conform, or leave. I'm going to repeat values. Conform, they don't like conforming. Something or non-convergent society. Choose to be together. Construct blank own destiny. That is value. Okay, good. I am blank to you. Disruptor. I have a mission. If wish to complete the ritual. Okay, good. So he's giving me a mission. Repair lost autophage. So we got to leave this site and go f fix somebody. And we get the Atlantium, Atlantidium Chamber Blueprint. The second thing we get is usually some words. There it is, two words. Third thing we get is plus two autophage standing. So we're going to start the mission. And let's head on, on our way out. There is, in this camp, there happens to be damaged machinery and some buried, tech, uh, buried technology. So I'm going to grab that. I got some nanites and the buried technology... There we go. I get one, two. Okay. Two of them. All right. And we got a partially built autophage at 23 minutes away walking distance. So we're going to grab our ship and take a ride over. On our merry. Now I'm going to stick to first person view here. Let's, you know, that seems odd, but I want to see if any ships pop up on my radar. It's only 20 seconds away flying, so. A little yellow square will appear in my radar at the bottom on the ship, if there's a ship available someplace. Uh, and I don't see anything. Okay, good. All right, so we're here. Oh, begin search. Hmm, could be there. There's a, ooh, you know what that is? I'm going to land there. That is a um, monolith. One of the big ones with the three words you can learn. I'm going to check that out because you might be... We can get some technology here. Oh, no. It's a Viking system. We can't get a new multi-tool here. That's okay. Oh, you know. Radiant shards. Grab them while you can. Radiant shard and Atlantidium. See? It's not here because it's a Viking system. You can only get them in... Uh, Corvax systems. All right. Looks like my. Oh. I can only upgrade it with aluminum or two batteries. And I don't have any batteries or ammonia. Does this place have ammonia on it? Let's check. Hold on. Get out of there. It does. All right. Where do we have ammonia? Let's see. Silver. I need ammonia. I need ammonia. I need ammonia. Running down quickly. Ammonia deposit 469, 448, copper, silver, 
Monia 298, that's much closer. 354, 823, 617. We got two minutes of exposure left. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. We can probably get some technology out of it. We'll see. Willis of Hizora. Touch my hands to the strange polished stone of the monolith. Images flood into my head. Words and scenes screamed from another age. Ooh. Sorry. <clears throat> Quick voice hydra hydration there. Uh, from another age. Something the warrior. Something, something, something. Oh, great. Okay, so I can't understand anything. The body of a warrior emerges from the obelisk. A jagged tear in their midriff suggested their end was not a peaceful one. They still hold their multi-tool. So we don't want to steal anything. They died honorably. Or do we salvage... So basically the two choices we have are bury the soldier or salvage components from the multi-tool. What would a warrior do? Would he bury the soldier? Be kind of an honor, honor thing to do. Or do we salvage components from the multi-tool? It's a tough choice. I keen value honor. Let's bury the soldier. Ah, good. Ancient voices howl their appreciation and wind that whips around me. An offering emerges from the monolith. Health at maximum. Increased Viking standing. Did we get something in our inventory? Not that I can see. I'm going to hang, hang on to some of the Atlantidium in my inventory. So I think it just it just got my life support up is what it did. So that's good. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. Just check it. Okay. Good. So let's head over there. I want to get this um, ammonia. We'll take it the Tom and Jerry method because I don't want to keep going through my... Uh... Wow. This uh, jetpack is pretty good. And we're going to switch over to the terrain manipulator. I know my toxic protection is falling. I'm working on it. It only requires 20. Let's get 20 real quick so we can charge up. There we go. Fully charged. And then we're going to grab a couple hundred more. So we can have this for the planet. It's always nice to be able to um, use elements like this from these deposits to charge your shields rather than having to keep using batteries every time. I hate using batteries. I try to avoid it if I can. I only do it when I must. Okay, so our shield is recharged. We've already got 150 ammonia. What do you think? We got about 300. 300 ought to do fine. We could get 500. I mean, this deposit's pretty darn good. We're on the smallest setting for our terrain manipulator, so that should give us the most out of this particular deposit. Yeah, we're already at 280, 290, 300. Let's go to 350, and then we're going to switch up to the larger setting. And I got a cat in the background. There we go, at 350, and I'm going to the larger setting. So we're going to clear out the rest of this deposit in a large fashion and gather up whatever's left. There we go. That looks good. Alright, how much did we get? Did we get over 500? We did! Okay. Put the extra in there right now, and we're all set. So we got 500. That'll work. Alright, so where are we going? 356 that way. So it's this general direction. Let's go ahead and head that way. Looks like we landed our ship pretty close to where we needed to be. 270. He's over this way at 260. Oh, is that sodium nitrate? Always need more of that. Two hundred away. I'm going in the right direction, apparently. One fifty eight, hold on. 
He's this way. See, I go back and forth like that to get the arrow so I can go kind of more in the right direction. Ah, looks like we found him. Hmm, what's that? Oh, that's one of those uh, navigation data units. I'll go ahead and grab it. Why not? It's only one there anyway. All right, so here we are. By the way, you see the smoke around it? Look what I found, huh? It's a, it's a camp. That's funny. So we're going to repair this in the middle of their camp. So it requires 20 ferrite dust, a microprocessor, and carbon nanotube. Okay, let's get into our inventory. And we make a carbon nanotube. And we need a... There it is. Microprocessor, which requires 40 chromatic metal, which is all on my ship. So I guess we're going to use that here. Pull in my ship. And now we should be able to make it. We gotta carry some on me just in case for situations like this. So again, how much does it require? Carbon nanotube? So we'll make one more carbon nanotube while we're at it. There we go. We should be able to repair this guy now. Carbon nanotube, microprocessor, so he's repaired. Alpha through Omega. Feed lost circuits. 71 Atlantidium. The first, 1010110. So we just leave. Okay, so that's done. Now, if you want to, you can talk to each one of these guys, and they can give you in the, in the uh, autophage camp here, and you can learn things. Like, for instance, you can offer assistance. You can present a gift of a radiant shard, which will give you higher standing, or you can practice the language. I'm going to continue to practice the language because we really want to know more that we can of the language so we can understand them better. I'm just going to keep choosing things. I'm not going to go into detail on what I'm learning here. There's a lot of people here. Uh, practice the language. And... There we go. Another one. Uh, you. I don't think I've talked to you yet, right? Nope. Okay, that's three. Uh, nope, I can talk to you. Man, there's a lot of a lot of them at this campsite. I'm not used to that. I'm used to seeing like four, three or four, sometimes five. There's got to be about six or eight of them here. Okay. Okay, good. So, anybody else over here? I think it was five of them. Maybe there's only five. It should say, yeah, it says visited. Okay, good. Uh, journey milestone accomplished. Met 45 aliens. Now nice. Okay, so there, we got to head back to the camp now. Where is my ship? Right next to me. Let's head out. So, we'll finish this portion of it out, and we'll see if we can't get our third multi-tool, third piece. Now, I want to check this system again, like I said, for a ship, okay? So, before we head on to the next system, whoops, I just skipped across that uh, embankment. Eight seconds. Um, before we leave this system to go to the next system to get our third piece for our staff, we're going to see if we can't find what ships are here. And there we go. We're going to scan, bring everybody in. Uh, the guy we need to talk to is right by the fire. Okay, hand in the mission. So now we have the Atlantidium chamber, which, gets, which can be assembled with a wiring loom, a radiant shard, and a microprocessor. We have the wiring loom and radiant shard. We need a microprocessor. And we learned a new word. So let's go ahead and make a carbon nanotube, which can make us a microprocessor, which can make us the... Atlantidium chamber. So now we have two pieces. Okay, return to construct. We did that. So we just gotta wait for the mission to catch up to us because I think we jumped ahead. Recharge. That's our shield. We recharged. Okay, any second now. The log should kick in. Okay, 
So it says the autophagy is bestowed an unusual gift, the blueprint for a vocaic staff handle. Contribute further to the society to improve your standing and earn more blueprints. Speak with the autophagy to proceed. Oh, okay, so we just need to speak to them. I have a highlighted symbol over somebody else's head here. Construct Eos. Uh, weathered shell jitters, some loose part rattling inside them. They seem excited to discuss this new blueprint. Ask, ask them about the chamber I've got. This blueprint is something to the ritual. The staff, something, is a shell, a blank, blank, blank of her body. Something builds something more of us. I see disruption in something. Must seek more autophage. My blank is my own. We are not a convergence. Leave. I am again encouraged to move on to meet more of the autophage. These beings seem reluctant to finalize their assessment of me, each individual autophage urging me on to another. But with each construct I meet, I sense I am progressing towards acceptance, even friendship. These gifts, these blueprints are proof of that. The Atlantidium Chamber seems to be the next stage of this ritual. Okay. All right, so we need to go on to a new system is what it's telling us. But I've got some things to do here. I've got number one, I've got to get into the ocean because I want to get my... Uh, uh, what do you call it? My nanites up to par. Oh, looks like we got water right nearby. Crap. I probably didn't need to take off after all. All right, let's float down here and land again. How's my charge do on that? Yeah, it's at 24%. We can use one radiant shard to get what we need. Okay. Well, let's go in here to the water and see what uh, creatures are in it. Just need two. And we're done. There's one right now. And here's the other. So we're done. So we have all the creatures on this planet. So let's uh, get into our log real quick, onto our discoveries. Five of five discovered, and we get 1,250 nanites for that. So that brings us up to a total of almost 4,500. So that's nice. Gets us right back where we were. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to look for a uh, radiant... No, no, resonator. We need to look for a resonator. Uh, let's see. I don't see any resonators here. Okay, so let's comb the landscape. Gravity well down to 88%. Good, that's fine. All right, let's slow down just a touch. And that's going to give us our journey milestone of discovering all the creatures on another planet. Classifier. I need to get that off my screen so I can see what I'm doing. Now the probe is... Uh, station authority probe is checking me out. He shouldn't find anything. I don't think I have anything on board. Yeah, clear to proceed. That's what I thought. Back to my radar, please. Thank you. Okay. So we're looking for a mirror unit here. A, ra a resonator. Gonna be quiet for just a second while I focus on this. Should be somebody around here. Come on, three star system. We should have a ton of these things on this planet here. Got plenty of radiant shards. Oh, is that one? No, nope, that's a radiant shard too. Very odd. I haven't found one yet. Usually I find them in clusters, too. Oh, there's one. There's one. He is right next to me. Okay. We just want to go up on the hill here and then park. Hopefully he has an echolocator on him. Not just an inverted mirror. Though I do need an inverted mirror, too. I can't seem to land. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'm always going to gather more radiant shards and living fragments as I can. Alright, let's get this guy. From a distance. Let's see what we get. And... Gone. I got an inverted mirror. Okay. Just got to run away for about 10-15 seconds. Um, I said I just have to run away for 10-15 seconds. You guys shouldn't be able to see me. Come on now. 
What is that? Oh, it's oxygen. Oh, very technology. I'll take that. Why are they not going away? Where's my countdown? Alright, we got a problem here. Because they're not going away this time. I guess we're going to be running for a while. Whoa, okay. Sentience Echo. That I'd take that. It's nice to get Echo Seeds every now and then. Alright, so these guys have either got really good radar and they can find me from zillions of kilometers away, or I'm never going to escape these guys. Alright, so let's do something different here. You. Let's take on some of them. Runic Lens is not going to be strong enough to take these guys out, I don't think. Got him. Just fight them for a little bit here. See if I can get past the first stage. And then maybe I can get a timer going. No storms, thank heavens. There we go. There we go. Swarm multiplying. So I'm going to go up here. And look this way. What happened? It turned off. No, it didn't. So where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> so we're going to go the other way now. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Almost hit a couple of the fly trap style guys. So where's my counter? Really? No counter, huh? Am I really going to have to fight these guys? Oh, good grief. This is going to be a tough battle if I'm going to have to do that. Apparently, it's not going to let me uh, do otherwise. So it's going to keep fighting here. I want to take that guy out if I can, because he's nasty. Yeah, they're just going to heal him. bombing the crap out of me. Oh, fell off my ship. <laughs> Come on. Good. Got him. All right. Gather up all these barrels so we can repair ourselves real quick. Got 
Where's the other little guy? These little guys are a pain in the butt. Where is he? Because when they get really low on health, they try to charge and blow up on you. Now, where's the big guy? Oh, there he is. Whoa. Would you... Do I have no ammo? I have no ammo. Got him. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Trying to get my bolt caster out. Good. Nothing yet, huh? Where'd he go? You can't see them. Oh, there they are. That should have been it. As long as he's not shooting at me, I don't mind. I'm gonna keep taking him out. Good. Is that it? Oh great, there's two of them. Down. Okay, now we're into crazy mode. It's like everything's out here. Thank heavens my ship's protecting me right now. Because his flames will be eating me up. They're already eating me up. Almost done. Base 5 is almost complete. Wow, this is quite the battle, huh? Come in, buddy. Is that it? Ah, there's one more. That should be it. No? Who? Okay, we got him. We got him. This is going to find me a camp. Good grief, that was tough. Or a ship. Possibly a ship. Looks like they gave me a ship, so at least it's something. Alright, so he's not attacking me. That's good news. What, what, what? Not doing anything? I won't shoot another thing, sorry. I will pick these up with my hands. Alright, getting all the combat supplies that I got left behind. 
Wow, that was quite the battle. All five stages in permadeath mode. Not bad. These are the tougher battles, let me tell you. But it's going to get me some good stuff out of it, so. Especially those big canisters from the big crawly spider walker thing, thingy guys. Alright, so how much did we end up with? Wow, look at all the Atlanta DM, huh? I got the void moat. I'm going to put that over there in my ship. Anything else? I guess I wasn't out of ammunition, but for some reason it thought I was. I don't know. That was weird. That was really, really weird. All right, so what do we got? We got two inverted mirrors now. We got plenty of radiant shards. We have ten crystallized hearts. That's good. And we have... Commercial cartographic ammo. Okay, well, great. I'm glad I have that. Okay, oh, we got 13 crystallized hearts. Very nice. Lots and lots of lantidium. We really don't need any more, that's for sure. All right, let's check out the ship. Sorry I had to go through five stages of that baloney to get this, but, you know, it is what it is. How far away? Two minutes? All right. I mean, that was, that was ridiculous, is what it was. Won't let me go that way. Let's see, can I do it now? Not locking in, even though you say you are. Okay, there we go. Heading down to the planet now to check out this new ship. Let's see what they got here. Now, again, every ship that you find on this planet is going to be exactly the same. Okay? They'll just be different, you know, stages. And it looks like it's very similar to the one I've got already. Go figure. Can we tell what's, what type it is? It's a B-Class, which we've already got a B-Class, so that's really not worth it to me. I might get it anyway, just so I can sell it. Let me just check something here real quick. How many ships do we have? Nope, that's not what I want. This one. So what do we got? We only have one other ship called the Focus of Jeopardy. Okay. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Just so we can salvage it. Uh, we're going to grab the salvage glass, we're going to grab the pugnium, and we're going to grab the Hylian Bane brain this time. Which we'll have to come bring back a harmonic brain. And we'll check this guy out for anything he has on himself. Nope. Don't need rusted metal. Alright, so... Get in the ship first. And we're going to go to our inventory, and we have to select it. And it will take us someplace real quick. So we're not going to go for any other ships here. We'll grab this one, we'll put it in our inventory, and then we'll just leave. We'll go on to the next system and try to complete out the staff on this episode. It'll be a little longer episode, as you can see, because I didn't expect I'd have to fight hordes of uh, sentinels, but it is what it is. Okay. It's just the same stuff. I'm not going to go through the dialogue on this one. We're going to present the brain, and we're going to grab the harmonic one. Okay. Off we go. And it should be right here. There it is. Okay, good. Like when you land in one spot and it just starts moving you forward for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Okay, there we go. And we put the Hylian Brain in, and there's our ship. So, one supercharged slot, it's got a phase beam unit on it, a uh, rocket launcher, and a gravity well, luminous essence, crimson core, air on shield, sentinel cannon, of course, and pilot interface. Oh, two. Got two supercharged slots. Kind of like the ship that we've got already. It's a nice looking ship. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got a green color to it. I'm not too keen on that. But, you know, it's halfway decent. But, again, I've got a better ship. If I compare them, you know, it says it's got better ratings in certain areas, like the damage potential is higher and everything like that. So, oh, that's on my ship. Ah, ha, ha. So the hyperdrive range is better on the abandoned starship from the basic, I guess. Which is odd, because mine is at 1,437. But anyway, let's go ahead and claim the ship. 
So now we have it in our inventory to sell. What we can do is we can take it up to the space station and part it out and sell it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and then we're going to leave the system. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we'll just have to leave the old fashioned way because that ship popped in. Alright, where is the space station? Over here. Again, not a bad looking ship. There's nothing wrong with it. We put the sun there. So you can see the top of the ship. You can see there's nothing wrong with it. It's green. It's got some red trimming. It's a good looking ship. But, eh, not really my cup of tea. There we go. And we'll part this one out and get a little extra cash out of it. Oh, I like that sound, though. Love that. And then we'll head on to the next system real quick. So again, a little longer episode here in order to get this complete. <laughs> Starship outfitting. I like how it only shows a piece of it. Uh, we're going to claim the scrap. It's worth 26 million, so that's pretty nice. We're not going to take everything out of it. I'm not worried about that. Okay. And we'll get some B-class upgrades out of it, which we don't really need, so we'll go in here and get rid of the B-class upgrades. And that should be a Starship Shield module, a Hyperdrive module, which we really don't need, and we're going to keep the Artemis package. Okay, and that's it. And we can sell the items on our person and get what we need done. Okay. Oh, that's not my ship. Oh, you know what? I do want to hit this guy real quick and just sell that garbage out of my inventory real fast. Because that'll give us the money, right? Uh, sell. There it is. Uh, spool of nano cables. And uh, there should be something else. Oh, there we go. Recycled circuitry. There it is. 1.8. And then 24 million to the Starship AI valves. Phew. Things are expensive, aren't they? Okay. And that's it. That's all we need to do. And we're going to open this up and see what we get. A weapon, we weapon, a weapon, a weapons shard. Let's put that in here and see what it is. Plus two fire rate, plus one damage. Hmm. Not that great. So we'll uninstall it. Okay. All right, moving on. We're going to go to our next system. That's my other ship, isn't it? That's okay. We'll trade it out. That's my solar ship. It's a pretty solar ship, though, isn't it? I love this ship. Anyway, um, let's go to the next system. Okay, good. So, we're not interested. I'm not going to go crazy with trying to find a system. We'll just find one close by that happens to be dissonant. Because this one doesn't have the jump range. Dissonant. That was a blue system, though. Gek. Dissonant. Yeah, sure, why not? Plenty of worlds here. Watch it turn out to be a pirate system. <laughs> and this will complete out the staff. So the first thing we need to do, it's a Gek system, so it's not Corvax, keeping that in mind. And we just need to scan the planets. First contact, eyes and Tim, as you can see. All right, let's go over here, scan. Petrified, dissonance detected. Okay, but we're going to check out all the other ones as well, because sometimes you have a system that has more than one. Corrosive moon. Well, that one's really far away. Aggressive. The blue ball here is corrupted. Interesting. What about you? You look noxious. Overgrown planet. And then finally the big guy right close to us 
is a dusty planet. Okay. So back to here. And that's where we're going to head. Now, what we need to do, as we said before, it's a petrified planet. It's not too far away. Uh, we need to hit the space station. We don't need to buy anything. We just need to touch and go. So we're going to get out, get back in, and leave. Just so we have a space station to go to in case we need to. There we go, out, back in, on our way. I know we need to get some stuff from the nanite vendors and stuff like that, like, uh, you know, for my multi-tool and for my ship, but for now this will work. Uh, where are we going? We're going over this way, I believe, right? Yes, there we go. That's the dissonance one. Yes, it is. How's your charge on your pulse drive? Looks pretty good. Okay, good. So, as we land, we'll swap out ships. I'm not interested in your object of interest. Probably just another trader trying to sell me a extended warranty on my starship. As we all know. Another one. Oh my gosh, they're really trying to get you, huh? Go away. Got a lot of units now, though. 83 million. That's in pretty good shape. Alright, we're just going to come in straight in for a landing. really is a pretty ship, isn't it? Uh, there's looks like a clear patch. Mostly clear patch. Oh, ossified. Interesting. I don't think we're going to find any ships here. Okay, so. We do that. Let's pull in my other ship. Right here. Okay, good. And now we're going to go to our multi-tool. Wrong one. I gotta charge it first with the Atlanta DM and then click. And let's see if it finds anything. Because ossified planets don't have much usually. Oh, good. Remote auto phase signal detected. What if we're gonna find it on a different planet? Sure enough, different planet. That's what I thought. Yeah, there's not gonna be anything on this planet. That's the problem. I didn't realize it was an ossified planet because those are just... You can't do anything with them. But fortunately, it's on this moon over here. Coming in. See what I mean? You got a freighter right there. You got a... It's not a quite full uh, uh, monument, or pardon me, monolith over there. I got one of the smaller monoliths. Everything's closer together because it's a moon. So, very interesting. And you got this campsite. That looks like a good spot to land. And it's just pushing me forward. Just drop straight down, that's all I'm asking of you. Okay, we're going to scan. Everything pops into play. Almost everything. Where is everything? Everything didn't pop in. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got the machine right there. All right, where's my guy? He's sitting in a chair by the barrel again. Let's chat with him, shall we? Rebuild construct. Rota Laro tilts toward me. The movement dislodging a fine cloud of rust. Perhaps they are performing a scan, though the gesture is oddly reminiscent of inhaling a pleasant fragrance. Yes, blah, 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 have her, blah, her, Enko, in blank, suit. Okay, great, we can't understand a thing. The entity said something, but I not believe in the disruptor, seeing this for myself. Okay, so he's just seeing his believing type thing. We'll show him the chamber. Something is good, pre-built entity. Good, I have built this blank. So he's got another thing for me. I do not require more something of something R, but we must something to something, the construction ritual, something earn autophage, autophage friendship. So I'm going to repeat friendship, not construction. The staff is a blank of autophage friendship. I blank will choose to accept something. I have one last blank, one last blueprint. Okay, so this time objective starship 
salvaged starship components, rebuilt construct Rodolo is cresting it, and we get the transducer. Autoface standing, and then more words. Okay, great. So we have to see. Uh, is, in, is in need of new components and has requested my assistant requiring acquiring salvage from a downed starship. The weir air surrounds this construct. The shell carries the same energy. A metallic echo of their inner self. Okay, good. So we're starting the mission. So apparently we have to go someplace where there's a crashed ship. Oh, that's right up there. Well, no. Two hours, so I'm assuming it's on another planet. Nope, it's just the icon is up in the air, that's all. Oh, planetary interference, we didn't go far enough outside of the moon's atmosphere. There we go, gotta wait for that little pause there. Come on, stop that. Uh, it won't let me do it. I'm actually going to have to fly old-fashioned to it. But I'm above the atmosphere, so it should be quick. And again, it's a moon, which is tiny, so... There we go. We're out of the atmosphere completely. Wow. It is literally on the other side of this planet. Here, let's do something real quick. And turn around. There. Okay. Yeah, it was literally on the opposite end of the planet. And I'm getting planetary interference, so I can't even go there. Ugh. Okay, target crash site, it says. Proximate location. So what we want to do here, I don't think we're going to find it unless we zoom in on first-person view. So look at my radar at the bottom you'll see there's a there's a uh, yellow icon that looks like a square and you see it points straight at the ship and that's what you're looking for the little yellow square on the ground all right so it looks like it's a little fighter take a look at it can't really see anything with it but you can go through things like this ball here the distress beacon Go through it because um, it gives you a little story. Interior of down craft is a patchwork of technologies, possibly scavenged from multiple ships. The portly corpse of a dead be beaked life form sprawls on the control panel. Clearly deceased had a penchant for the finer things in life. The cargo hold is secured by some home of kind of homemade security system. Like the rest of the ship is a mishmash of technologies. Deactivating it could be tricky. So we could attempt to open the hold or search the pilot. I say we search the pilot. Uh, decompose grub-like crustacean and an exosuit tech proves my reward after exertions of heaving the bloated corpse off the controls. So I got an upgrade. A shield module times uh, the C-Class C shield module. So we got a little bit of nanites. So let's check all the other stuff around it. No we're living slime. We'll get some nanites from this. Okay. And check out the canisters around it. Don't want rusted metal. We just got some items, no big deal. And we got some berry tech. Let's go ahead and grab it. Alright, so we've got everything from this site that we possibly can. Now we just need to go to the ship. It's a C-Class ZM-8. Looks like a point-nosed ship. Nothing to it. It's really low-end stuff. Pair. I don't think we really need to do anything. I don't know if I want to claim it or not, but we're going to leave the ship. So now what? Oh, we have to salvage the ship, which means I've got to repair it. Ugh. Okay. We're going to go through this baloney again. All right, let's just go ahead and get and take the ship real quick. Compare. Claim it. Thank heavens we don't have a bunch of ships in my inventory. We need to go to the starship and fix it. So we need pure ferrite, which we've got, and a dihydrogen jelly, which we've got. And the other one, we need Hermetic Seal Metal Plate. Uh, metal Plate we should be able to do pretty easily. And the Hermetic Seal is where? Should be in here. There it is. Alright. We can fix this now. I'm not going to bother with the shield. Hopefully we don't run into anybody. You know what? Wait a second. Was there something in there? Oh, okay. I thought there was more technology in here. There isn't. 
Okay. If we have to, we will... We can't recharge the shield without chromatic metal, so hopefully we don't get into a fight. If we do, we'll reload. Because we won't survive a fight in this ship. So we just gotta make it 30 seconds. Actually, even if we get attacked by a hostile right now, as long as we're less than 20 seconds, we should be able to make it to the space station. Yep, we're working on it. This tells us to salvage Starship components. Process your ship for scrap at the Starship outfitting terminal. Yeah, 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 we know. Now we're going to end up with our solar ship again. Okay, so we made it to the star sh uh, space station. That's good. And we're out. So just over an hour on the video here, unfortunately. I didn't want to go this long, but it seems these videos get longer and longer occasionally to do things. So this will be it. Let's see. Claim the scrap. Claim the scrap. Won't let me... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Let me check my inventory real quick. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, I don't care about that either. Oh, we do have 75. What do you know? That's good. Okay, we should be able to get it now. Claim. Done. So now what? Let me just check before I start doing anything. Okay. So it doesn't look like we have to bring him any of the things we got from this. Just to claim your reward. Okay, good. Uh, oh, hey, while we're here, let's get an exosuit upgrade. We really could use that, right? How's my exosuit look? Is that in a... Nope, nope, not a supercharged slot, but still, that looks much better than it did. Move you over. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and just sell off some of the technology we got out of it, which I don't know if there's anything there, but... Yeah, Photon Counter Phase Beam Starship Shield. Good. Now, we needed a... No, we don't need anything for our person. We need one for our ship. Uh, pulse Engine Upgrade, right? So why don't we take a look? Uh, nothing. No. Shield Upgrade, which is always handy, but we got plenty of shields right now. Okay. We'll check the next system if we ever... When we go to our next system, we'll take a look. Hey, look. It's a solar ship. Focus of Jeopardy. And there we go. Off to the moon. If I get myself lined up, that is. There we go. Off we go. That's pretty nice. It's a nice looking ship, isn't it? I do like this solar ship. Very pretty. And the pulse engines on this ship are pretty good as well. You know, there's not much to the pulse engine, but because it has the Vesper sail and it can recharge the solar, it's very handy. So, good for traveling. But there's not much to this ship, so again, I hope I don't get attacked while I'm en route. I'm just checking to see what's in my inventory here. Hmm, nothing really worth... Uh, Writing home to mom about. Okay. It's been a while since I had to fly it and check out its inventory. Alright, so we're coming in for a landing. Looks like we got a storm going on at the same time. The first thing we're going to do is pull in my other ship. I can't bring it in. So in order to summon it, I need 100% charge. So now i got to go find it. Or I can probably pull it into the anomaly. I'll probably do that there. Alright, let's go ahead and scan. 
Oh, we need to scan again. We didn't pull in any of the buildings. All right, well, let's talk to him first. Well, that's recharges. So, there we go. We got our trans, trans concentric transducer. We need a superconductor in order to, to build this, unfortunately. And we don't have that. Uh, let's see here. So there's the terminal, but I cannot build this thing because I need that superconductor. That is mean, because I can't make that. I do not have the recipe. Oh, that just stinks. You know, I'm going to have to spend some money on building that, and it's going to require so many materials to get that. So I guess what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to leave this, this mission unfinished because there's nothing else we can do. Um, we need to get multiple things. Like, uh, I'll take you up to the anomaly. We'll at least finish this on the anomaly so we can show you what's what's necessary. Uh, I don't want it on in the asteroid field. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll get going to get the recipe for it. But we're going to show you exactly what's necessary to build the superconductor. It's expensive. At least I, if I remember correctly, it's expensive. I don't have my chart open. I actually have a saved chart on my screen here. On my computer that I can pull up. Okay. Let's head over here. Oh, you know what? While we're here, we can change out our ship right now. Uh, there. Now we don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about your thrusters or anything like that in order to get them in the way. All right, so terminal on the right, component terminals, as we know. Synthesis laboratory, it's called. So, superconductor, let's take a look. Where is it at? Uh, right down here, superconductor. Requires a semiconductor and enriched carbon. So we need to get the semiconductor one and enriched carbon, right? First thing we need to do is get th thermic condensate, so that's 250 nanites. We need the enriched carbon, which requires radon, which we don't have, and condensed carbon. So you need this, and we'll need two of them, as it seems, uh, which is sulfurine. So I'll need 500 sulfurine. This one I'm going to require 250 radon. Uh, what do we need for this? We need a semiconductor and enriched carbon. So to get the semiconductor, we got to get nitrogen salt, which we need nitrogen now. And to get the superconductor, we need thermic, thermic condensate, which is one of those units up above we just talked about, and nitrogen salt. And then they get the sem semiconductor. So let's go over this real quick. So I just spent a whole lot of nanites, okay? Sulfurine, need 250. So I need one of those to start with. To make this, I need radon. This one, I need nitrogen. This one down here, I need the thermic condensate. Okay, so we need to make one of these. I need to make one of these to get the semiconductor. And then in order to make this, I got to make enriched carbon, which requires radon. So we need 250 radon, 250 nitrogen, and 250 sulfurine, which we cannot buy in any stations. We have to find it on a planet. So that's going to be fun. Um, sometimes you could find it at terminals. Rarely, though. Very, very rarely. So we have to find a planet that has these items in in their... Uh, uh, a planet that has this item as far as being able to pull it out as a gas. So in order to do that... Oh yeah, we're not done yet. Usually you can't find deposits of nitrogen and sulfury. Not always. So to go to construction research terminal... Uh, let's see here. I'll find it. Here we go. Is this it? Yes. We'll need the gas extractor. And the mineral extractor. We have 70 salvage data, so I'm just going to go ahead and get them for now. And then the gas extractor. Now, these things hold 250 each. 
The mineral and the gas extractors, they hold 250 each, so we don't really need a supply depot, but we're going to go ahead and get it anyway, as well as the supply pipe that goes between them. And they cost money to build them. Ferrite dust, metal plating, see? 100 chromatic metal to build one of these units and these units. So this is going to take some time to build it all out. While I'm in here, though, I'm going to get the rest of my power items, which is my solar panel, my electrical cloaking unit, and the electromagnetic generator, because those are handy. I also need a switch, not necessarily the wall switch. I prefer, I prefer uh, floor switches. So I'll get one of those each. So now I'm down to 18 salvage data from 70 for all the things I wanted to get. So we're going to have to build a base. We've already got one, but we're going to have to get a base going. Um, I'm going to do a little research on the sulfurine, the nitrogen, and the um, radon and see if I can get them at trade stations and stuff like that so I don't have to build up all this crap to get it. So we'll do that, and I'll do most of that off camera once I find out. Uh, and then I'll announce it in my next video exactly how we went about doing it, and I'll show you. I'll show you how we went about doing it. So that's pretty much it. So we're going to end the video here. I'm going to go ahead and do a save point so we have it. And then I will come back and show you how to do that in my next series. I, now, this weekend, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to be doing a stream. So uh, and it's by the time you see this video, that stream would have already happened and gone. But the point is, is that I will record this video in another weekend, the next one that is, and then... Uh, pick up where we left off so thank you again very much for watching please hit the like and subscribe as usual hopefully we're over a thousand by now we'll see what happens thousand subscribers would be great but really appreciate everybody's support on this channel thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next video take care everybody